The idea for them actually came from a school in Bristol, which has hit the, hit the headlines today for uh, being the strictest in Britain. But why? Uh, well, among other things, pupils are being made to wear signs like these, shaming them for breaking the rules. For example, if they wear the wrong uniform, the sign would say, I have 24 hours to sort out my uniform. Now, critics have branded the signs humiliating. The head teacher insists being stricter is improving behaviour. So do you think they're a step too far? No. I mean, it, listen, I wouldn't go as far as to, you know, go personal or make any nasty remarks, but I really am passionate about the lack of discipline that I've noticed in, in especially my children and my little brother's schooling. For, for example, they... I remember being scared to get in trouble. I still broke the rules, but not as much as I would have if it was like, mm. oh, yeah, you can all sit indoors and do detention through lunch. Like, my, I literally got a phone call uh, the other day saying that Zach had been naughty at school, and it was him and all his friends sitting in the playground. They were throwing twigs into somebody's garden and trying to wind up their dog. What was the punishment? They had to sit in, in, in at lunchtime, all four of them, have a laugh, all the boys together. There, there was no consequence for their actions. So I dragged him out of school and I took him round to the house and I said, go and see the person whose dog that is, then go and meet the dog and see what an inconvenience and how upset they are with what you were doing. Good for you. Because otherwise... Yeah. Good for you. Where, where is it? But isn't he worried that he'll be laughed at by his friends at school because he he's got will. a very, very strict mum. Well, good. So then he'll think, oh, I won't do that again because it's embarrassing and it's humiliating yeah. and I don't want to behave like that. See, it's the embarrassment and humiliation that worries me a little bit. By the way, why haven't I got one? I don't oh, well, You're I'm just fed up with it. By the way, my sign make no difference. You're mine. Everybody's <laughs> <laughs> I never I can't get mine off. Did you cheat in it? Do you know? Do you know what's so interesting is we we obviously we we discussed this before we came on about you know what we thought and and what have you and I was really loud banging the table thinking it's a brilliant idea and then came my sign and I've scribbled all over it. Look, one time, one time there was a group of us. We decided we didn't see it as cheating. We saw it as helping. And what we did <laughs> was, was no, this was our logic. We thought, well, you're good at English, you're good at history, you're good at maths, so we'll all group help each yeah. other out. So it wasn't like sitting there being a little snitch, being like this. We were literally, it was like a group endeavour mm. to help. And then we, we didn't see it as cheating and we all got caught. But it is um, cheating, right? But it is cheating. <laughs> what, 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 what sort so of punishment did you get? <laughs> um, uh, and did it teach you? It, oh, come on, what you know, the, the worst bit actually was just facing my parents, apart from anything else. But putting that to sort of one side in terms of what happened at the school, what is really interesting was in theory, I was like, yeah, it's a great idea. So humiliated to wear this today. I didn't want to put it on. I no. scribbled all over it. It was only one time. But at the end of the day, I did it. Mm. I still did it. So actually, I, I mean, it, it just worries works. me that we, we teach our children not to bully each other. Yes. Um, and not to single each other out and not to post nasty pictures online or something like that. And then we've got teachers hanging a label around their neck. It really but worries that me that maybe somebody? this isn't the right way to do is it. Is it bullying somebody by if you walk in with the incorrect uniform and you have to wear a T-shirt that says, I'm wearing the incorrect uniform? Is that a full... Like, I mean... It's a bit like the dunce's hat, and we outlawed that years ago. But I just... Oh, my goodness, I just think children's now, children now think they're our equals. I mean, go in any supermarket and you see a woman pushing a trolley around, <laughs> talking to a tiny toddler, what would you like to eat today? And I just... <laughs> I just can't believe it. And I, I completely agree with Stacey that now kids as young as 10 think they've got human rights and they're going to argue back. Well, they, <laughs> well, they have got human, human rights. <laughs> I oh, know, this is the thing. They've got toddler rights. They're not yeah. our friends. Children rights. Well, I think everyone's worried about being best friends with their children yeah. and yeah. having this lovely, all happy-go-lucky relationship, which is lovely, but also there has to be some discipline. I, I think so it's strongly... called boundaries. Yeah, boundaries, discipline, but, but, you know, there has to be consequence for actions. Yes. I see so many children, including my own, getting away with things and having no consequence whatsoever. Yeah. Where does that... Yeah, but kind this, of generation... this, is the, this is the equivalent to the dunce's hat. I think it's wrong. But it's a consequence. And if you walk it into is, school yeah. and you say, that was embarrassing and I didn't like everybody knowing that I was tardy and that I didn't put my yeah. uniform on properly, you'd probably go in the next day and put it on properly. Mind yeah. you, casting my 
my mind back half a century to when I was at school. I was constantly in detention. I was constantly being singled out. I was constantly told, yes, I'm an incredible <laughs> sight may seem. And I bet it didn't change her. It didn't change me. <laughs> it was in my head. And I can kind of see where the kids are coming from. It's you against the system. And you think you're a fighter, a freedom fighter for the right to be the way you want. And actually, I left school having been in detention solidly, endless punishments, always Did you ever get positive praise? Yeah, so... positive praise a bit, but I, I looked at all the people who got loads of praise as absolutely nauseating. <laughs> people that I wouldn't want to be friends with anyway. <laughs> Smarmy teacher's pet. I think so I think that basically if a child's a rebel, a child's a rebel. Yeah, but I think there's a happy medium. I think you can be authoritative and I think you can have um, consequences to actions like this, but also I think you equally have to praise the good and make sure you let them know when they're doing something great, but also take them aside when they're doing something wrong. Yeah.